or not, whenever you're ready, Dave. This morning we're going to harvest these winter squashes. This is a variety called Uchuki Curry. And as you can see, they're quite a decent size. These were, were the seeds were set in about March this year and they were, the plants were put out in June. Uh, what they've done, the fruit over the summer have swollen and we've got two really good fruits on this single plant. So we're gonna, we're gonna take them off. Um, you just need a pair of secateurs. Now the, the instinct is to cut the, the, the uh, squash off just there, but that's actually the wrong thing to do. So what you should do is cut it where the squash joins the actual plant, so just here. And the reason for that is that stops any infection or any diseases getting into the, the squash. So it'll store for about a month this. You don't need to refrigerate it, just keep it in a, a cool, dark place and it'll store for a, a good month, five weeks maybe. Um, if After that it starts to go a bit stringy, so try and use it within that four week period. So it's just a matter, and it's quite tough because we've let that go really woody uh, and dry. So it's just a matter of a nice clean cut, just there, and that's your squash. So that'll make a fantastic butternut squash risotto or a soup. Um, as I say, it'll store for about a month. A bit more awkward that one to get at. We can cut I'm glad you can pronounce name and all, because... It's a funny I name, I, I struggle, Uchi, I struggle Uchi, with it Uchi, myself. Uchi curry. Uchuki curry. Uchuki. Um, so yeah, a nice clean cut there, as you can see. There's still a, still a bit of moisture in there, but that'll protect the rest of the plant. I know when you buy them from the supermarket, you, they're sort of cut, cut off there, yeah. but that'll help it to store for longer. It's a beauty, that one. This is a, a different variety of squash. This is called a patty pan squash. And this is, is what is classed as a summer squash. Um, it's set at the same sort of time as the winter one, so March time, the seeds are set in the greenhouse, under cover, and it's planted out at the same time, very end of May, beginning of June, in this part of the country, uh, to avoid any frosts. Um, and this plant will, will produce lots and lots of these yellow squashes. And these you don't store for more than three or four days. Um, you don't need to put them in a fridge, I don't anyway, um, but you can keep them in a the fridge. But again, just three or four days uh, shelf life. And what you do with these, again, you don't cut close up to the squash if you're going to harvest them. You just cut a little bit of the stalk off and that'll help it to store. Now, the best way to cook those is just to cut them into quarters, cover them in oil and salt and pepper, uh, maybe a bit of garlic and just roast them and they're fantastic. Um, but this plant, it's just the one plant, and as you can see how big it is, we've had 50, 60 of these size squashes off this, this summer. So one plant really is fantastic. It's so generous with what it gives. So this is the third variety of squash that we've grown this year. This is a winter squash as well. And these aren't ready for harvesting yet. Um, you can tell when the winter squash are ready, at this variety, um, is because it'll go with a similar, similar colour to a, a bamboo cane. As you can see, it's starting to turn into this sort of goldy brown, light brown colour. Um, but the whole fruit ne needs to be that colour. And that, that lets you know that the skin's ripened and gone hard, so it'll be fit to store. What I am going to do today is place the squashes on a, a firm surface because what you don't want to do because these lay on the floor generally you don't want it to get wet and rot so I picked a, an old seed tray and I'm just going to turn it upside down it is a seed tray that's got a ridges in it and a, and a draining point there so what I'm going to do with this is just pop the squash on it like that and that will stop it sitting in water and enable it to dry out the other thing that you can do to help with that is for such as this squash here you need, to, you need the sunlight to get at, at it. So what you need to do is remove any leaves that might stop the sun catching the squash. So, and that'll help it to ripen. That one you see is, is just hanging from the plant, um, which is fine. There's quite a bit of weight in it, but they are robust plants and this, they, obviously 
through nature they're designed to carry the fruit like that or scrambling along the floor. I've trained it up the, the support purely because of the space it wants to take up. Yeah. Um, and again with these, when they are ready, make sure you cut it away from the plant at the top of that shoot there. And again, it'll store for five or six weeks in a, a cool, dark, dry environment. Make sure you towel it dry when you remove it so it's, it's not going to rot. Yeah. When yeah. it gets to about, when the main stem gets to about 10 foot long, you take the growing tip out right. because the fruits develop on the side shoots. Yeah. So if you let it keep going, it'll have too many um, side shoots eventually. So top, take the growing tip out after about 10 foot, eight, between eight and 10 foot growth of the main stem and you'll notice that the side shoots will come and then you'll get your flowers. Yeah. And obviously that, that's where your fruits come from. Good. And you want to leave about between four and five, no more than five fruit on because they won't develop if you, if you don't, it'll be too much for the plant. Right, if um, there's too many on it. If there's too many, yeah. yeah. Um, once you start to get sort of over five, you might, they might develop, but they'll only be small. They won't yeah. get to this sort of size and bigger. They, these will probably get bigger. Yeah. They are greedy, so it's had a weekly feed with seed, fit, seed feed extra. Um, one of our Envy products, and it also had, a, before we actually planted it into the bed, um, it had a, a feed of Active Earth as well, yeah. um, just to give it a boost when it first went in. Um, yeah, or just a weekly feed. Brilliant. Subscribe to the Envy YouTube channel to be notified of regular Dave's Corner videos.